chemical applications. First thing we need to do is look at applying chemicals through an irrigation system, what are the benefits derived? Well, first of all, there's a huge labor savings. All we need to do is incorporate the chemical, whatever it might be, into the water supply and the, wa and the system does all the work. So the only labor that's involved is at the front end getting chemicals loaded into the system. Filling a tank, starting an injection pump or whatever variety of injection system we're operating and then walking away. So the labor is very minimal using water as the, the carrier of the chemical. Uh, in equipment, what do we need to work with equipment wise? Well, if you are going to put this on any other way but with an irrigation system, you're going to have to have some kind of a ground rig pulled by a tractor or some other utility vehicle. Uh, in turf, oftentimes it's going to be a little uh, grounds <coughs> cart. Uh, sometimes they're, they're hooking up these little four-wheel ATVs now with sprayers on them and the like, but still you got to drive all over the, cover the whole acreage with some kind of mechanical means to drive it around and spray it on the ground or spread it on the ground if it's, if it's dry. Or we might have to use an airplane to fly it on. And heck, we just put it into that water and just let it do it all without any extra equipment except some kind of injection system. And we're going to look at the various kinds of injection systems here in a few minutes. So we do have an initial cost of an injection system, but once that's taken care of, it pretty much does its own thing. And we don't have to use all the petroleum products, whether it's gas or diesel or airplane fluid or whatever it is, uh, air, air, airplane fuel, to uh, have that expense and plus all the operator time that it takes to drive or fly the chemical onto the ground. 